Today, I'm doing an unboxing and a first impressions video of a brand new fragrance by Roja. This one's called Oud Extraordinaire, yes. And it's inspired by the luxurious lifestyle of Dubai. So if you wanna find out more about this fragrance, please don't go anywhere. So welcome back guys. Yes, Oud Extraordinaire here is described by the brand as a modern interpretation of the classic Oud Accord. I'm excited guys. But before we jump into this box guys, please if you're new to my channel and you like fragrances and you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click that bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. So without wasting time, I'm going to open the box and we're going to see what this one is all about. This fragrance was sent to me by the brand for review. And if you know anything about Roger fragrances, it's just the quality of the packaging. They do have absolute amazing packaging. Yes, this one already screams luxury, even from the box here, guys. But yeah, we're not about the box in this video. We're more concerned about the scent. What does this one smell like? Yeah. I'm guessing it don't, this one opens up like this. Wow, amazing. Actually, this is the first time I'm seeing one of these kind of boxes. I don't know if it's a new type. Uh, I don't know if it's a new design. I don't know if it's a new thing they're trying to do. But yeah, this is the first time I'm experiencing a box that opens like this. And I've seen different types of boxes that they come in. Yeah, but this is the first time I'm seeing one of these. And yes, this one opens up like this. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at that. It looks beautiful. So the fragrance sits inside the box like this and this is the actual bottle mm, it looks good it looks really good this is what the fragrance looks like this is what the cap looks like and uh, i just like how roger uh, caps look i like how the bottle design is it's just it just screams luxury to me and you know up class this is not a cheap perfume also guys this one retails for 595 pounds yes for an 100 ml bottle like this it's quite pricey so the brand describes this creation as a combination of tropical fruits refreshing flowers and with a base of cashmere and gourmand notes before we go to the actual scent i'm just gonna let you know what the notes look like there's a lot of them guys so this one has bergamot mandarin grapefruit apple pear mango peach plum pineapple at the top and at the heart, we have lily of the valley, geranium, orange blossom, red roses, transparent jasmine, heliotrope, and cyclonin. And at the base, we have vetiver, dry woods, agarwood, amber, candy floss, toffee, vanilla, leather, cashmere, and musk. So like I said, lots of notes with this one. But now it's time to see what this one actually smells like. And I'm going to do a few sprays on my skin. So let's go. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. Hmm. The sprayer here too is, is, is a good one. The distribution is great. Okay. Hmm. Right away, this one is a sweet fragrance. Yes. It's sweet. Hmm. I can smell vanilla. Yeah. There's like this mixture of different fruits in here mm, yeah it has that exotic fruity vibe plus sweet really sweet identity yeah this is a sweet fragrance this is a fruity fragrance for sure as you can see from the notes there's lots of fruity notes listed here so there's a little bit of this there's a little bit of that in here but what i'm looking for is the oud that's mentioned here because this is Oud Extraordinaire, so I'm looking forward to the Oud. Actually, I wanted to see the mixture of Oud and this fruity notes and see how that plays together. But right now, I'm not getting it yet. So I'll leave this one to sit for a little bit and then I'll come back and let you know what I think. So I've worn this one for about an hour now. And uh, what I get here is a sweet fragrance with major, major, major dose of fruits, like a fruit cocktail. And then after a while, things kind of mellow and that sweetness, almost like a vanillic uh, sweetness is still there. 
yes i do get some woods in the background things get a little less fruity as this fragrance dries down there's leather listed in the notes for this one but i don't pick up any leather just yet so the woods here or the oud here is not like a f in your face kind of oud is more on the subtle side so if you don't like a really funky or really big dense kind of oud then maybe you should check this one out this is not like a heavy oud fragrance this is more of a fruity kind of a sweet vanillic almost uh, like a cocktail almost like something you want to eat kind of uh, fragrance and this is just the first impressions of this fragrance i haven't spent so much time with this one yet so i'm going to be wearing this one in the next couple of days and testing it out so this one wears pretty soft on me this is not a loud fragrance even though i like it this way because sometimes the fruity stuff the overly sweet fragrances can be too much for me it does project a little bit from my skin for the first about the first 30 minutes to an hour but then things become quite soft and in the far dry down this one has that kind of smooth mouth watering kind of uh, pastry uh, smell to me yeah it's definitely a nice fragrance very easy to approach for an oud fragrance very mass appealing in my opinion very easy to approach uh, vibe for an oud fragrance and i'm still trying to see if i can pick up more notes here but yeah definitely not as uh, fruity and sweet in the top as it is right now after sitting for about an hour yeah things get more mellow things get more uh, dark things get a little woody in the base and that's my favorite part because i'm not really a fan of the overly sweet fragrances and the overly fruity fragrances i prefer this fragrance in the dry down and yeah yeah it's pretty easy to approach can this be a unisex fragrance yes but i think this one leans more to the feminine side so i think most ladies would like this one this would make a perfect gift for a lady if she likes and enjoys fruity sweet fragrances it's more of a sweet fragrance it's more of a sweet take on oud yeah even though i don't pick up a lot of the oud in here and as of right now none of the fruits listed are jumping at me i can't really say what um, notes or what fruits i'm smelling right now it's just like a concoction of different fruits together and then you have that vanilla that sweet toffee that's almost uh uh, candy floss kind of vibe here so if you like a sweet fragrance so if you like a sweet fruity fragrance then maybe you can check this one out yes this one has a floral undertone that makes things just rounded in my opinion yeah there's a little bit of uh, floral vibe there's a little bit of powderiness here and yes a lot of people would like this fragrance this one smells really upscale yet still very mass appealing especially because it's easy to approach i personally can wear this fragrance all year round it has that fruitiness that can be pulled off in the summertime because of the fruity tropical vibe that's in here but i think this one is mostly suited for the fall but from my experience of this fragrance i don't think it will be strong enough to withstand the cold of winter yeah definitely a good one for fall and maybe even summertime because of that tropical fruity vibe that's in here so who's this fragrance for this fragrance is for you if you like a sweet fragrance if you like fruity fragrances if you like floral fragrances but mostly fruity sweet fragrances yeah th then this one will be for you the quality is there with this fragrance the blend is smooth and amazing as you would expect with uh, a fragrance by roja for sure i'm going to be wearing this one in the next couple of days to better understand this fragrance and to better understand this composition so guys have you tried wood extraordinaire here by roja let me know what you think about this one and let me know some of your favorite wood fragrances from roja parfums so that's the end of this video and if you're new to my channel and you like fragrances please subscribe to the channel i'm gonna keep testing this one out and i'll see you in my next video and until then guys please stay safe and bye bye